Japanese soldier never realized World War II was over until 1974. For nearly three decades, the world had moved on from the horrors of World War II. Countries had rebuilt, alliances had shifted, and the wounds of war had begun to heal. However, in a remote corner of the Philippines, a Japanese soldier named Hiroshi Suzuki continued to live a life of isolation and unawareness. Hiroshi had been stationed on the island of Lubang, a small and obscure outpost in the Philippines when the war had ended in 1945. Cut off from communication and unaware of the surrender of Japan, he and a small group of soldiers had resolved to continue fighting. They believed that the news of Japan's defeat was nothing but enemy propaganda and they vowed to remain vigilant until their homeland claimed victory. Days turned into months and months into years as Hiroshi and his comrades clung to their beliefs. They lived off the land, surviving on what the island had to offer and occasionally engaging in skirmishes with local villages and the Philippine army. Their existence became a shadow, a forgotten relic of a war long gone. As the years stretched on, the world around Hiroshi began to change. Modern technology advanced, communication flourished, and Japan emerged as a prosperous nation. However, none of these developments reached the secluded island of Luban. The outside world was an enigma to Hiroshi, and he remained oblivious to the passage of time. It was not until February 1974 when a Japanese traveler stumbled upon Hiroshi's hideout that the truth was finally revealed. The traveler, shocked to find a Japanese soldier still fighting a war that had ended nearly three decades ago, informed Hiroshi of the reality he had been blind to for all those years. At first, Hiroshi could not comprehend the magnitude of what he had been told. The news of Japan's surrender the countless lives lost, and the world that had moved on without him overwhelmed his senses. He struggled to reconcile his perception of reality with the truth that now confronted him. Slowly, Hiroshi began to accept the reality of the situation. He realized that his unwavering dedication to his country had kept him isolated and ignorant while the rest of the world had rebuilt and moved forward. The weight of his actions, the lives lost in his misguided pursuit, settled heavily upon him. Returning to Japan as a war veteran, Hiroshi faced a nation that had long since recovered from the ravages of war. He was met with a mixture of curiosity, sympathy and disbelief. The story of the soldier who had fought a war that had ended decades ago captivated the public's attention. Hiroshi's tale served as a poignant reminder of the lasting impact of war and the importance of communication. His story prompted discussions about the psychological toll war can take on individuals and the necessity of ensuring that no one is left behind or forgotten. For Hiroshi, the realization that he had fought a war that had long since ended was a bittersweet awakening. He had missed out on the chance to rebuild his life to see his family again and to witness the transformation of his homeland. Yet his story became a symbol of resilience and the human capacity for endurance. In the end, Hiroshi's journey was a testament to the power of reconciliation and the importance of understanding. His story served as a reminder that even in the darkest of times, there is always hope for redemption and a chance to find peace.